I'm gonna go out on a limb really quick and just say that this might be my new game of the year right now. I'm not that far into it, but I just feel like everything that we've seen up to this point has been like top tier in every category. So love you all, best science ever. If you want more of this series, these stages keep all like support. It means a lot to me since the views don't always update. And I uh, love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. All right, here we go. I was wondering what this place was. That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really going to start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was going to give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this Place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. Who may I ask is calling? Oh, of course. Get him through. Dr. Here, follow me. That data does not cross tabulate with the AI learning it did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Bee drone, let's get it. Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! What these things? Yes! <laughs> Imagine. Yep. Oh, yeah! Gotta protect the hive. Nice! Gotcha! 
Man, the controls for this drone are actually really impressive. I Sometimes games will have drones, and it's really tough to control it, but this is pretty easy. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness. Aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. Dr. Curtis Kirk Connors, the lizard. That was pretty cool. That was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Did you do the XR analysis? Oh, we got it. Oh, we could go back. Oh, wait, what's all this? Check out the computer, I guess. See here. Where do I even start? Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. What this game kind of reminds me of, when Batman Arkham Asylum came out, it was like spectacular, right? And I thought City, the second game, was even better. But it's like a lot of the same stuff, they just made it, they added more characters, a lot more stuff. That is what this kind of feels like, to me at least. In a really good way. So we just kind of explore everything, right? I should explore as much as I can right now. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Every time I see, like, uh, Harry's dad, Norman, I always think about... <laughs> I always think about, uh, William Defoe. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. What are these? Hold on. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting-edge work is being put to use saving lives. 
You can 3D print organs. That's insane. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. A lot of people don't know this, but I actually only got one kidney. I had my right one never grew from birth, so I had it removed like in April 1st There's of 97. So I was in fourth grade. I would kill to have a second kidney, though. <laughs> 3D print me one today. We're going up. Oh, you, you actually can't run in here either. Okay. I was about to sprint, but I was like, hey, it might be a little much. Particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. Middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the. Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and that we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. Like a one mission is like super packed. The other one, it's uh, we're just kind of chilling out, walking around an area, you know. This way, dude. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. It's a little bit confusing if you don't really... Because you're just trying to, like, match the corners, at least. That's all you're really doing. Hold on. If I do this, I don't have another two. Oh, no. I can do this. Here we go. This one, this one, and then this last one here. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. 
Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. Don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Quick thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hold on, we just got the, uh, hold on, we got more suits? What we got here? Amazing suit. Oh, that's so sick. I gotta put it on for a little bit, at least. <laughs> Miles, so we got the Bro- Oh, that's so clean. Brooklyn, almost at Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You know, the show or whatever. Let's go ahead and get this one, too. I think I'm gonna rock. Let's see. I want to change it up a little bit. I like this one actually. I kind of want to like pair them together. I just don't know like which ones. Let's try this one for a little bit. I think I may rock these two for now. All right, suit tech. Hold on. Damage health. Let's do damage. The reason I'm doing so much like stuff in the game. As much as I can, at least, is simply just so I can level up everything. Maximum health increase. That's pretty cool, too. We got that. Gadgets. Okay. 
How much does this cost? Oh yeah, the tech parts. <laughs> Every time I go to this column, I go there a little too late. Okay, we got skills. Hold on. Two points. Uh, spider rush or... It's like a tornado, kind of. Alright, here's what I've been kind of doing, right? Staying in this middle column, and then... It's like I don't want to venture too far into either of theirs just yet. I feel like this is a safe bet for now. Yeah, I might get that one. That one's pretty nice. Parry disarm. What does this one say? Yeah, let's get that one as well. That's going to help us out a lot. 23% on the shared ones. Okay. All right, we're good. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... It's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. I wanted to see what this was really quick. Criminals have stashed tech parts. I'm gonna get jumped on it. Without the tinkerer, they were picked apart like vultures. Hey, nice, 22. Let's know we can put this stuff to better use. All right, one thing I want to check out really quick is this right here. Before we go, I'm gonna take a break. I've been playing for a long time. But yeah, thank you all for supporting this series. This is one of my favorite games to cover in a very long time. It, it's probably gonna be my game of the year. Oh wait. A sand crystal. Up, More Marco memories scattered all over New York. Like how every time she goes to like talk. Starts now and no cheating. It's nice that the water is only there for these enemies because it doesn't matter on the other ones. <laughs> you just have to make it hard, huh? Out. Going up. I thought I dodged that in time. Let's crack a crystal. So I told the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. Marco was really laying low these past few years. Would have helped him if I'd known he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source of the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. I think they're like the movement in this game is just like how could they have proved it or improved it even more you know what I mean like it's so insane how smooth everything feels in this game we got some crime hold on I need to stop those cultists before they burn everything oh come on Man, there's so much going on in the combat. It's actually insanely fun to just like get all the different gadgets and everything. Hold on, we're getting absolutely cooked. Hold on. God. That's not good. Leave me alone. Oh, 
please be the last one. I think you are. Okay. Better put out the fires. Can't even. Help! Don't worry. I'll get you to an ambulance in no time. Just swing carefully, please. So I got burned a little bit there too. I gotta say that the more I play this game, the better it gets. That's not something I was ever predicting either. I thought like, okay, it's gonna be a great game, but to what extent, you know? Kinda of like when I played God of War Ragnarok. All the reviews were crazy good, you know? There. You're all set. And I hope the worst is over now. Thanks a ton. Man, people really don't appreciate you enough. Huh? 80 tech parts for that. And then it's like you go to play the game and it's even better. Which is, I think, one of the hardest things to do is just like over deliver, you know? Oh, it's some more of these. How many did we get? 21 that time. What is this thing? Hold on. Hope Dr. Foster doesn't mind. Excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. The I fact that I the suit stays us. torn is so Let's sick. Look for the best samples. Oh, I see it. Collect specimens. So pretty much just follow this around. There has to be a healthy looking plant around here somewhere. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. This one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. Does it go away and reset each time? Oh, it does. Okay. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Does it matter which order we go in? So I feel like that might be... Let's see. There, let's see. We gotta undo it. We don't have a two, okay. Let's, hold on, let's try this one. Let's put it back over here. Can I just, yeah, there we go. We'll put this... Reset piece as well, let's see. Okay. There's only two that we can put in this one right here. We'll go with that one. Only one that can go here. Here it is. If this works, these plants will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. Just imagine what Feast could do with all of that. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. <laughs> I just gotta patch this up. Some webs Wait, what? should do the trick. There seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. You got one more, hold on. Gotta take just throw this pallet off the side. Hope it didn't hurt anybody. My goodness. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. Is there still all of them? I was saying there's one over here. There we go. This should do it. 
Hey, let's go. Alright, I wasn't going to do the other thing, but I've been playing for like over two hours. It's been a long day of recording. I've actually enjoyed this game a lot. What is this? It's weird, it's like it popped up. District reward, let's see. We got two rare tech parts. Nice. All right, when we come back next time, I may change up the suits a little bit. I just think it's amazing how this one stays kind of like destroyed a little bit from the fire earlier. Um, all right. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Obviously, these are like the main missions. And you can... Okay, here's the thing. I don't know. Maybe you can do... Because you can switch between either character for all three of these, even though this is the main one, I'm assuming. I don't know. Either way, I love you all, best lands ever. If you want more of the series each day, just keep it up. It means lots of men. I'm not really sure why I'm talking so fast, but I'm about to go to bed. I love you all, and take it easy. Peace.